everybody, my name is Matt Kleskowski and I wanna welcome you to a photo makeover here where I am gonna edit one of my fall photos from start to finish. I'll show you everything that I do to it. Um, I got to take a trip to the, the Northeast this year, back in early October. I went up to Vermont and the colors were kinda good, kinda not so good in some places, but with a little bit of work, we can have some fun with it. I'm also doing this because I wanna get the word out there. I'm gonna do a live photo makeover webinar where you're gonna get to submit your photos. So rather than sit there and watch me edit my photos, uh, you're gonna get to submit your photos and I'm gonna be able to take some of those photos and go through and uh, and do whatever I would do to them. I'll use whatever program I see fit to, uh, to get the results uh, that I'm thinking for that particular photo. So make sure you check uh, the description for the link to the page, to not only sign up, but also to submit your photos, okay? So let's go ahead and dive into my photo here. All right, so uh, you could see that we have a, uh, we've got a kind of a covered bridge here. Uh, there's a lot of white sky up uh, up at the top there. So I just, uh, I used a zoom lens to, uh, to, to really crop in here, get some of the bridge, a little bit of the road and some of the semi color trees that are back here. Uh, let's go to the crop tool here. I'll just rotate that around and straighten it just a little bit. It's looking good. Um, I think overall, let's see here, I probably add a little bit of warming to it just to, to give a, a warmer type of a feel, kind of had a cold feel. Um, whites and blacks, you know, I just, I'm, I'm kind of like a broken record with this stuff. I, uh, I option or alt click on whites and move that to the right until I see a couple specs. I, I have a feeling when I look at it, it's gonna be too bright because there really probably isn't a full white point. So I'll pull back uh, a little bit once I do that. Same thing on the blacks, option or alt click, drag that to the left, and I will get a black point just, just a little bit down there in that covered bridge. Uh, if you need to bring out any shadows or highlights, which I don't really think, I don't really think I have any highlights worth worth saving in this uh, in this image here, so we'll kind of just leave it at that. Uh, let's see here, so that's the, the basic panel. We'll head down here, so HSL, this is probably where, uh, this is probably where we can do the, the most magic. Um, one of the things that I start to think about, especially with with fall photos that that may not have come out the way that I had wanted them to, is I'm, I'm going to help the colors. Um, so this is if if you're somebody that doesn't like to help the colors a little bit, you should stop watching now because it's just going to annoy you. But uh, I, I'm going to I'm going to push these colors to what I had hoped that they would be when I was there. So we can go to uh, to the hue slider here. You know, I try to push the oranges to red. There's not a lot we can do. You'll see a couple of little reds back uh, back there get a little bit more intense. Um, and then I can push yellows to orange and you'll see kind of a big difference there, right? Now I'm starting to push a lot of those colors to, uh, to a different color. I'm not gonna crank them all the way up to uh, minus 100 there, but somewhere in between will definitely let me get uh, a little bit more intense on some of those colors. And then next up here, we've got our yellow slider where I can take uh, some of the yellows and, and greenish colors and push those a little bit more. And you can see that makes a big difference as well. Again, I'm not gonna crank it way up, but just add a little bit there. And even greens, uh, I can take my green if there was a lot of green down here and I can push that toward yellow. Now, I'm not quite sure that that's what I wanna do. I actually don't mind some of the green grass and it's not, it's not really doing anything good um, to the trees back there. So I'm probably gonna pull that back. Uh, saturation, I don't think we have to do anything on saturation. I think the colors are, are plenty saturated. And then luminance, we can come in here and make some of those colors brighter or darker. And I think I would do just that on some of the yellows and some of the oranges. So to show you what a, a difference this makes, um, I'm gonna hit the little toggle switch next to HSL. So take a look, this is the before photo and that's the after, and that's just, uh, that's just the HSL, the hue saturation changes that we did here. Um, I think that's really the bulk of, of what worked for this photo here. Uh, let's see, a couple things that grabbed my eye, the, the pumpkins to me down here, um, the, the pumpkins and the flowers started to get a little bit radioactive from, uh, from my, my hue saturation changes up there. So I would probably grab the adjustment brush double click effect, which will reset all of the settings. And I just bring the saturation down and then probably come in here and, uh, and just paint a little bit of negative saturation down there at the bottom. 
just to just again you know we don't want set we don't want like they, they don't we don't want them to be pink uh, so i just want to pull the color back from them just a little bit all right let's see what we got here so we got uh we got our colors looking pretty good i think the last thing that i would do is uh is just finish this up um I, I might actually crop it a little bit more and the main reason is let me get some of these green trees back here just out of there so i'll just come hold on my shift key and uh, and i'll just crop that in a little bit more from there that gets some of the greenery that's in the back away and then i would go we can finish this up you know i could do i could do the traditional vignette um, that I that I would normally do and the problem is it's going to start to darken this area and to me This is the this is what I want to draw your attention to down here So rather than do the vignette in this case, I would go to the radial filter Click on the radial filter here. Uh, let's bring the exposure slider to the left and then just click and drag and sometimes you will hit the jackpot in that the radial filter is is working the way that you want, meaning that it's putting uh, the ex negative exposure on the outside and kind of gives me my little spotlight on the inside because normally if it doesn't do it, it usually just means the invert checkbox is either checked or unchecked for whichever way that you want it. But for me, it always seems like it's it's the opposite. Um, anyway, so I'd come in here and, uh, and drop my little spotlight on here. We can make it a little taller, make it a little wider, can even, kind of rotate it around like so, just to kind of go down that road. We've got our feather here. If it starts to look, uh, if you start to see the edges a little bit too much, again, you just kind of finesse it a little bit. I think overall that's probably gonna be too dark, so I don't really wanna go quite that dark with it. I just wanna bring a little bit of attention down there. So if you take a look, that's before and that's after the radio filter. Okay, and then finally, let's uh, let's get this on full screen here. If you wanna see our before image, all you gotta do is hit the backslash key and then hit the backslash key again and you can see the after photo, okay? So hopefully you enjoyed the, uh, the little start to finish there, one of my fall photos. And uh, of course, make sure you check the description for the links for everything that I had mentioned before.